Hey guys, Curtis Alexander, I'm a pharmacist. Let's talk about if supplementing with taurine can help your sleep. Now, if you're not familiar, taurine is an amino acid. It's a non-essential amino acid, meaning you can actually make it as an adult. So why supplement with it? Well, let's kind of dig into that. So we know from the research that taurine is a GABA agonist. And what that basically means, GABA is an excitatory neurotransmitter. So um, when it's an agonist, we can see nerve excitability actually decrease. And that results in many people feeling a decrease in anxiety and also an increase in sleep. Now, we talked about the non-essential amino acid part. You can get it from foods. It's primarily going to be found in our uh, animal foods like red meat, seafood, and eggs are good sources of taurine. Um, for example, if you're a vegetarian, you are at risk for a taurine deficiency, which is not good. Um, now, some of the biochemistry things that we know, just like melatonin, you can see uh, more of a response to melatonin the longer somebody has been awake. Um, the same thing holds true for taurine. We see that in people who have been awake for a long time. They're more responsive to the taurine. Uh, we do also know that taurine's involved in the pineal gland, which is where your melatonin is manufactured. Now, what do the studies actually show? Do we see any effectiveness with taurine? And again, I want to stress these are only animal studies or one animal study. And they did give taurine versus caffeine. Um, and what they found is that when they gave them taurine, it caused a decrease in locomotor activity, basically a decrease in activity overall. And they did see an increase in total sleep time. Now, this decrease in locomotor activity is going to be important here in a second. Now, what about dosing? As a general rule of thumb, we've seen taurine doses up to 6,000 milligrams a day. I wouldn't start out anywhere near that amount. If you wanted to use it to see if it helps sleep, start out probably at 1,000 milligrams or one gram. Uh, maybe 30 minutes before bedtime, you can probably go up to 2 grams or 2,000 milligrams, depending on how you're responding to it. Now, the feedback I've gotten, I've never taken taurine personally as a supplement. I eat plenty of animal products, so I don't think it's probably necessary for me, and my sleep is good. The feedback I've gotten from people who have supplemented is, yes, it helps with sleep. But I do get some negative feedback from some people, that being some people have claimed it can cause a headache, not a long-term, not a debilitating headache, but right after they take it, um, they, they do get a bit of a headache. It does tend to go away. They also can complain of sluggishness, and that's kind of where we're going back to this decrease in locomotor activity. I'm not saying this is going to happen with you based off the feedback I've got and the studies we have available, I think taurine is relatively safe. It appears to help people with sleep uh, as far as the feedback I've gotten. However, that doesn't mean it's not without some potential side effects. So just start at the lower end of the range we talked about. I'll include a link uh, to a taurine product in the description. I'm also going to include a link. Make sure to go grab your free checklist. Uh, if you want other options, natural options, safe and effective that can help with sleep, I list 11 on there that I personally use and recommend, so make sure to grab that. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you've used taurine to help with sleep. Did you experience side effects? Was it effective? Really appreciate your feedback. So do other people that end up watching this video, you guys. So um, I will see you in the next one. Thank you.